Hey guys! Today I'm going to be exposing 5 shocking MSP secrets you probably didn't know. This is a collab with Just Emerald. I'm going to put the link to her video in the description. Make sure you check it out! She's going to be sharing another 5 secrets. Number 1. Secret 2005-2008 to MSP Honey Amy was a game designer and art director for Movie Star Planet from 2009 to 2014. She was in charge of the visual style, identity, and vision of MSP, and was also heavily involved in game design. Prior to MSP, Honey worked on a project called Power Babe. Power Babe was an online game for girls owned by Egmont. Honey worked for Power Babe for three years, starting in 2005, and was the game's illustrator and in-game content creator. She designed characters, backgrounds, clothing, and furniture for the game. Unfortunately, Power Babe shut down in 2008, around the time MSP was being developed. After Power Babe shut down, Honey began working for MSP. Because both games had the same designer, they shared nearly the same style and many similar items up until recent years. Honey reused many graphics from Power Babe when she began working for MSP. Most of these items are now rares. If you joined MSP after 2012, the graphics might not look familiar to you. But while Power Babe may not look like MSP today, it sure does look like old MSP. By the way, make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. Number 2. In 2008, when MSP was still in development, they were considering a gender-neutral concept. This looks nothing like MSP and I was pretty shocked when I first saw it. The characters remind me of Pop Tropica and it looks like there is some sort of voice recording feature. I'm not actually sure what that is. There are no shops, art books, looks, or high scores. It's literally just movies, friends, and chatting. Anyway, they clearly didn't go with this concept. When MSP first came out in 2009, it looked far more like 2020 MSP than it looked like this picture. Number 3. MSP came out with a makeup kit made by Mark Wynn's Makeup for Girls near the end of 2013. I honestly hadn't heard about this until today. Comment below if you remember this or even bought it. It was around $32 and came with 65 lip glosses, 56 eyeshadows, 3 blush trios, 1 lip pencil, 2 applicators, 1 lip brush, and 1 powder brush. Honestly, this looks like something that I would have loved in 2013. Unfortunately, I wasn't playing MSP then and had no idea that this existed. Number 4. MSP gets most of their inspiration, especially for clothing, from Pinterest. They copy the clothing almost detail for detail. It's actually crazy how similar MSP clothing looks to the clothing in the photos. MSP used to make public Pinterest boards with inspiration for each theme. They no longer do that, but they are definitely still copying clothing from there. Let's take a look at the Pinterest boards, then compare some of the photos to the clothing and the themes. I'm only going to compare a few items for the sake of time, but keep in mind that almost every item in the theme I'm going to show is copied from Pinterest.
Number five, there's a way to get 4K screenshots for your thumbnails and edits even if you don't have a 4K display. For those of you who don't get what I mean by 4K, it's one of the highest resolutions available on most computers. With 4K, graphics appear crystal clear. Unfortunately, most of us don't have it. I learned this hack from MilliMSP, and I've been using it for a while now to make thumbnails and edits. It has literally changed my life. Let me show you how to do it. First, log into MSP using Google Chrome. Then, find something to screenshot. Now, find the three vertical dots at the top right of your browser. Go to More Tools, then click on Developer Tools. At the top, there should be two boxes to input your resolution. Type in 3840 by 2160. This will give you a 4K resolution when you go to take a screenshot. Wait until your screen finishes adjusting, then click the three vertical dots and pick Capture Full Size Screenshot. If the screen goes black, don't worry. The screenshot will automatically download onto your computer. When you first open the screenshot, give it a few seconds to process and become clearer. You can use Photoshop or any other photo editing software to crop the photo. This works for all websites, not just MSP. Unfortunately, however, Flash is shutting down in 2021 and MSP is moving to the desktop app. You'll no longer be able to play MSP using Google Chrome, and you'll also no longer have access to the developer tools. So take advantage of this hack now while you still can. I know I said I had only five secrets for you guys, but here's an extra. This one's not much of a secret, but a lot of people, especially new players, don't seem to know about it. There's a not-so-secret shop at the back of the MSP clothing shop. There's one at the back of the item shop as well. The secret shops are basically a bunch of old items from themes that no longer exist. Fun fact, I used to think these items were rares. They're not, by the way. That's all guys! Which secret did you find the most shocking? Let me know in the comments! Also, make sure to like this video and subscribe if you've made it this far. Remember to check out Emerald's video for 5 more shocking secrets. Bye guys!